run. Uh, what can you tell us about your running mate at Zay County? I guess both of them were here since here, Mason and Mason. Um, I think I think really highly of them. You know, uh, they're both two great athletes, and they both have experience. Um, I think that's important. Um, they both uh, came in. Uh, Russ came in with me uh, in spring, so we we gelled together well. But since he's he's catching on as he came in in June, I think uh, he's doing really well, and I I think those guys will be good for us this year. Um, I think it's a great opportunity um, just for guys around the nation as well. Um, watching, it's such a it's such a great area right now. I I don't really, I don't really intend to do athletes. Um, the decision wasn't hard. Um, I kind of made the decision mid year. Honestly, um, I knew I was going to come back from probably after the TCU game, uh, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a hard decision. I, w I have my business, and, and I can't wait to get to it. Who's been, uh, who's been playing the nickel in um, We have we have about three nickels. Uh, Mars plays. Nickel. We have linebacker Wayne Wayne Jones and Ryan Hennington, uh nickel as well. Um, just whatever personnel we want to put in there. Oh, sacks equals, uh, you know, for, uh, forced fumbles, uh, interceptions. I like I like when they get to the quarterback. It makes my job easier. Um, getting that ball out fast. Uh, and our, our defensive line is going to be really good this year. I feel that. Yeah, I've been thinking about it since uh, the last game of the season. Um, I don't like losing at all. I'm a competitor, and uh, that losing taste in my mouth is is not something I like to keep. So, uh, me and my team are gonna do whatever we can to make sure that doesn't happen again. Did you say playoff expansion? Um, I feel like it's also uh, a great opportunity for some athletes uh, to, you know, showcase their talent. You know, uh, when you go against other talented players, also that can that can increase your, you know, stock for you know whatever draft things like that. Uh, but it, it can be a wear and tear on on bodies. It could be. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a, a mind-blowing experience uh, for all the players on my team. We can't wait. Uh, we've been looking forward to it since we found out about it. And uh, just playing in an NFL stadium is just a dream, you know, since I was little. So I can't wait to do that. Oh, I think I know the whole building already now. Man, I've been everywhere around here. Oh, that's gonna be crazy! It's gonna feel like my freshman year again, running out there. It's like crazy, uh, nervous, uh, even though I've done this before. But it, it'll be fun. What's the next step for y'all as a football team to take that rising level to the next year of football? Um, the one word for me, uh, for our team, would be consistency. If we if we're consistent, then we'll be a really good football team, and I believe that. Um, I, I'd say consistency in our whole regiment, and uh, by that I mean, you know, we can't we can't uh, start four and zero, then you know, lose the next three games. It has to be consistent. So um, I think that'll be a big step towards our football team, and we're we're trying to make sure that that doesn't happen again. What are a couple of things as a defensive unit that you you want to improve on? You think you need to improve on for this season? Uh, defensively, uh, I feel like being aggressively, all, playing aggressively all the time, uh, and I feel like if we play aggressive all the time, then we'll be hard to stop. Kind of mentioned that TJ is already back, cleared to like go. How, uh, how excited do you think he is to be able to come back to the field? 
Oh, TJ, TJ is a, a very special player in my, in, in my mind. Uh, he's, young, he's young, but he he moves like he's mature already, like he's a senior, and he goes about his business every day, and, and he really loves the game of football, which <laughs> you have to do in this in this sport in, in college because it's a grind. You mentioned you're taking this wait-and-see approach with NIL stuff. How, how do you think you'll know when it's maybe the right opportunity? Is there, like, specific, like, do you want, like, a fashion company to kind of Oh man, I yeah. If, hey, if they came at me with the fashion, I might I might go now. <laughs> no, but uh, I just I just want to see how it all plays out, you know, before it gets too late. Um, I'm most definitely uh, preaching, keeping a chip, chip on your shoulder. So uh, I always tell the guys, like, confidence is key. If you know what you're doing uh, going into that week and you're confident on uh, – and I feel like practice practice habits are, are game reality. And if you practice like you play, then you won't have any issues on, you know, getting scored on all the time and things like that, and then busts and stuff like that. The bar, the bar is set so high right now, and uh, I feel like we have the players and, and the ability to do a lot of great things, and, and the sky's the limit for our defense, I feel like. To be a player in this whole transfer portal era, because you're, you're in the secondary this year, it's a completely different secondary than what we saw last yeah. season, because so many outgoing players and now in players. How's just that change from when you first got to Kansas State and now to now? Man, when I first got to Kansas State, uh, you might as well quit football uh, if you if you if you want to transfer because you're not getting out of there. Uh, I mean, I feel the transfer portal is good and it's bad. I mean, it's good for a lot of players that you know out there, you know, that just don't want to fight through the little nicks and of a program, you know. You know, uh, what we preach now in the locker room is uh, we want everybody to be a leader. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so sometimes I get to the back of the line sometimes just to make somebody else lead the line, you know? And I, and I want to see how what he, what he does when he's put on front street, you know? How are you going to react to certain things when they're not going wrong? Or, so I, I put a lot of different players uh, in, in, in that position sometimes just to see how they react. And, and a lot of them do good. Oh man, I I still talk to uh, one of my best friends, Elijah Walker, DJ Reed, uh, Duke Shelley. I, I talk to all those guys all the time just to give me motivation and you know, you know the level that they're at right now is somewhere that I want to be. So you know, obviously they did something to get to where they're at. So just picking their brain all the time and things like that is something I do. Besides Deuce, you know, we've been the tougher covers, you know, in black or blue. Malik's always tough. Uh, feels always tough. There's a lot. We we have a lot of like, you know, shifty like little guys. You know, th that are tough to cover, and they give me great work uh, in practice. So you know, because we go we go against a lot of bigger receivers sometimes, and, and th that'll make it easier. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I know. He's an animal, and he's gonna be something that uh, I think they like. Uh, all, all the everybody that's new, uh, I feel like the whole defense is gonna excite you. Tim Horn, he's a transfer, big D lineman. Uh, he's gonna make a lot of noise. TJ, Amaris, we, we've got a lot of guys. Russ, we've got a lot of guys that are gonna make noise. Even the the other side of the corner, we got uh, Pog, JG. It's just I'm rooting for my guys. I, I know they'll come through this year. With uh, name, image, and likeness on the table, how do you think that changes the game for athletes and impacts what you guys are able to do? What did you say? I'm sorry. With the name, image, and likeness oh, yeah. on the table, 
how does that impact? It can impact uh, guys in a positive or a negative way, however you take it. Um, I just hope guys use it as a, a you know a, a positive way instead of you know I don't want anybody to get in trouble for doing the wrong things or things like that. So that's why I'm just sitting back and watching. And then um, I want to ask about uh, the 12 team playoff model. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Giving more teams an opportunity to compete for a championship. I think it's good, and it'll make uh, everything more competitive. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta do more to, to get to where you want to be. Uh, I think it's exciting, and it, it, exciting for fans to watch and people around the nation. So you, you think that it, it'll actually make the regular season more competitive versus taking? You know, some people think yeah, that it may take yeah. ownership off the regular season. You think yeah. it'll add more emphasis? I think on it'll the add more pressure. Yeah, to win every game. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. And I'm just, I'm day by day, uh, I, I, I try to live, you know, the, the best that I can live, not taking, like you said, anything for granted. So I don't have any regret, you know, and I, I don't want to leave K-State in regret of I should have done this or should have done that. So, you know, holding myself accountable and then holding my teammates accountable and then, you know, to make sure everything goes good. Yeah. Yeah, we were we were inconsistent last year, but I feel like we have the ability to be very consistent every game this year, and I'm just very excited, and, and I think everybody should be excited to watch. And, you know, a lot of people will be surprised on, on how how we look this year. It's nothing new, man. Uh, in my eyes, it's another new. Uh, we've been the underdog for, you know, however many years I've been there, and, and I've been the underdog as a player, and it's just, it's just normal now. So it's just time to prove everybody wrong. Uh, he looks really good. It looks very natural to him. Uh, he's put on like 15 pounds of muscle. Uh, he he looks really good. Uh, I, Wayne, Wayne has some good things in store for you guys this year. I see a lot of good things coming and a lot, a lot of good things in store for uh, our offense. Uh, obviously, you know, He's, he's played a lot of games. He started a lot of games. He has that, that veteran experience, and, and it kind of keeps everybody else calm around him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he takes on a lot of the pressure, you know, and it, and it releases and lets a lot of guys around him play freely. So I think it takes a lot of pressure off our offense with him being out there. I've seen his confidence grow. Um, he kind of got thrown in the fire last year, you know. He, I know he wasn't expecting to be out there, whatever game that was, uh, as early as it was. You know, uh, nobody expected Scholar to go down. Uh, I think he grew from that experience of you know playing that many games, and you know, I feel like now he's the sky's the limit for him. Also, Will's Will's a great player. Uh, I think just keep taking steps forward. Uh, don't take any steps back. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take time for granted. And I, and I think if we, if we keep doing that, I think we're building right now in the summer something special that'll go into fall. Jerome, two, two young linemen, we've heard a lot of positive things about the past lead and then Felix, even when it's a few points last year. Did you see the progress with them this spring that I guess people expect? Oh, yeah. Uh, those two, the sky's the limit for those two. two Two great young athletes. Uh, Felix is getting so much stronger and bigger. I think everybody would be surprised to see him. And uh, Khalid Duke is just an animal. Uh, he's he's got God's gift, and I and I mean that. You know, he'll do a lot of great things this year. And I think a lot of people were surprised that, that I mean Justin Gordon has really good things. Yeah. They even get like honorable mention all Big Twelve. Yeah. That's something motivated him. 
Yeah, yeah, me and JG have talked a lot, and I, I challenge him all the time on how great of a player he can be. He's 6'2", long, you know, athletic, very competitive. He's going to high point the ball, you know, when it comes his way. And I think uh, a lot of people, you know, he, he, hey, he's an underdog. He's ready to prove himself again. I expect a big year from Boone. Uh, me and him talk all the time. Uh, I, he's ready. He's feeling better than he ever has. Uh, he's taking care of his body. He's doing a lot of good things. And Boom, Boom is a great player. <laughs> and, and he's ready to sprout this year and show everybody that he is what he was his freshman year. Yeah, those are my boys, man. Uh, matter of fact, Eli just called me a minute ago, trying to joke with me. Yeah, he's a, he's a jokester. Yeah, he he just called me a minute ago, just checking on me. You know, a lot of it's good things going on for him and San Fran. So there was some complaining about uh, that opener against Stanford being moved here to at and Stadium as opposed to playing at home. How do you feel about playing that opener here as opposed to in Manhattan? Oh, it's a great experience. I, uh, I don't. You know, I don't know why anybody would complain about playing in the Dallas Cowboys Stadium or watching it here. Uh, it's pretty cool if you look at it. Uh, this is going to be a good experience for a lot of a lot of guys that haven't been, you know, in a place like this, one of the best stadiums in the world. Uh, Coach Kleiman during or earlier today mentioned, you know, you got to pair for OU like any other team. I, mean, yeah. I, I got to ask, you know, it's, it's got to feel that much better to beat a team like Oklahoma. How do you guys really view the players going into that game this year? Um, like you said, I mean, we treat it as any other game, but, you know, uh, when you feel like your back's against the wall and, and nobody believes in you, some, you know, an extra spark goes in your body that, you know, I can't really explain, and, and you want to go prove yourself. And I feel like that's what, what our team did, and, you know, we'll try to con continue to do. What's the best part about playing for Coach Kleiman? Uh, Coach Kleiman, he's like a father figure. Uh, he's, he's, he's so cool and calm and collected and, and can talk to you and get on you and you won't feel any type of, you know, disrespect or anything because he, he, he means well, you know. He's, he's a great coach. I've learned so much from him since he got here and continuing to learn from him. And, and he just mentors me through life and, and everything. People don't know about junior college ball. It's a sticky situation. Now they're cutting people all the time. They're, you have to go in there with a business, uh, a business like attitude. And, and you know, if you don't, then you know you'll get eaten up. It's, it's a cold world in JUCO, and, and I try to preach, preach that to a lot of guys. And, you know, leaving a Division One or a Division Two to go junior college is, is, is it will be tough if you're not cut for it. Um, I don't think they should bypass junior college uh, athletes because I played against them. And they were they were some of the best athletes I've ever played against, and I and I'm playing at the highest level right now. And for me to say that, it, it means a lot. I mean, you know, obviously don't have to name names, but is there any teammates who have transferred that really took you by surprise? Like, oh, I can't believe it. Like, talking to him, it seemed like he was good yesterday, and now he's like, oh, I guess I'm out. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of guys have personal reasons, uh, different reasons, you know. At, at that point, it's just, man, it's just it's heartbreaking that some guys do leave. You know, I was close with a lot of guys that left, but, you know, some, some it worked out for us, some it didn't, you know. It's just life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how how smart he was um, as a young as a young quarterback who just got in there. Uh, people don't know it's I mean it's hard being thrown in at, at quarterback when you're 18, 19 years old on the, on the highest level in the biggest stage of college football, and uh, he really he really did that, and he's doing very good at it. You know he's a he's a great player.
honestly, I, I have no clue because we, we treat it like a normal game, but it's just, it just feels a lot more competitive. I don't know why, but you know, we, we, we just come ready to play that day.